Hello there, fellow home cooks, and welcome back to Sulain Kitchen Moments. Dito mas masarap ang ating usapan about food, travel, and life. Now, in our previous episode, kasama natin si Chef Sal, pinag-usapan natin ang kanyang mga travels and how those travels have inspired him. Today naman pag-uusapan natin all about comfort. Comfort food and what makes him comfortable. Welcome back on the show, Chef Sal Del Rosario. Hi, Chef. Hi, Susie. I'm such a fan. Parang nakagato ako, Chef. Hi, Chef Sal. Chef Sal, uh, we want to know, parang, what are these things that give you comfort? When you were growing up in Pampanga, what were the things when you were younger that used to give you comfort? Well, it's obvious what gives me comfort is food, right? Because food is, after all, um, very relatable. Parang mm-hmm. pabangayan, when you smell something, you remind me of someone. Yes, yes. Food is the same. That's the beauty about food. It has a yeah. story. Looking back, wag ako, when I'm, whether I'm in ano, parang high ako or low ako, inisip ko lagi yung mom ko. And then, yung glorious days in the kitchen. And one of the comfort food that she cooked for us when we were kids, yung buko pai. Oh. So, when you when you talk about buko pai, parang, nag, nag, parang naglalight na nagkagad yung face ko because it, it, it feels so good to be reminded of my mom. So, you're kapampanga, di yes, ba? And your mom cooked very well. Paano ba yan? Can you give us like a top three ng kapampangan dishes na niluluto niya na favorite mo? Okay, my mom aside from the, of course, the kare-kare. Mm-hmm. She makes very good galantina. One of her specialties also yung pagbibake. She loved to bake and buku pie, or I call it my own buku pie, was one of her ano, mga signature dishes niya. Right, Talaga, right. Pag yan ang ano, maamoy mo na yung buttery niyang crust. Right, right. Kinita mo na yung magpabili ng buko kay Mano, yung our driver, for example, si Efren. Oh, oh, so, oh, oh. alam mo na, pag nagpabili siya, buko, buko pa yung gagawin Yun niya. Yun nga. When you think about parang moments in the kitchen, what's the first memory that siguro nagsastand out sa'yo? So, si pa, ang moment na alam ko sa bahay, unang-una, my mom would wake up very early to catch to catch the freshest ingredient in the market. Mm. She is the type the important is the yes. ingredients, yes. freshest ingredients. Yes. So she would fight for the freshest meat, the freshest vegetable in the palengke. Ngayon sa bahay, pag nandun na ako, upo lang ako sa isang chair and then ang naalala ko, Susie, yung ako yung magbabalat ng malilit na mga shrimp. Maganyan. And then ako yung maggagawa ng mortar ng yung mga shrimp heads. Uh-huh. Yung paghalo niya sa doon sa mga stocks niya, for example, pinakbet. Yun ang linalagay niya. Inalala ko yung pinaka-hate ko din ginagawa kasi ninis ako. Ang lately ng shrimps na ganun. Totoo ha, mabusisi siya. Tapos mat- ano pa siya, matalas. Matalas. Uh-huh. And then I would I would pull a chair. I would even step in the chair and I would start tearing the sauces. Uh-huh. I love doing that. Siguro yun ang mga good memories ng mom ko talaga. That is so heartwarming, Chef. Honestly. I mean, listen to you talk with much passion and good memories with your mom. So now, we're talking about a lot of those memories and listening to you talk about them, it really gives you much comfort remembering your mom that way. And you mentioned it earlier, but once again, this is the one comfort food out of the many na iluluto nyo sa, mo sa amin for today. And what is it? Yeah, during the COVID, there was a time that I was a bit depressed because sure. I was at home and, you know, leaving alone in our old house. I could feel my mom na parang, what are you doing? Why don't you cook? Parang ganyan. So I challenged myself to bake because of her. Yes. So because that's one thing that I really hate doing, mm-hmm. baking, because uh-huh. I'm not the patient person. Yes. I am very, you know, free, free flowing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. So sabi ko, relax ka lang sa. We have all the time that's in the world. True. Diba? I would follow every instruction religiously. No yeah. shortcut. Yes. And then I end up with this vocal five. Yes. And I call it Vocify. And then you know what? I just posted sa Instagram. And then one, two, said they were curious. Can we order? Can we order? Nagin tens, nagin hundreds, nagin thousands. Believe me. <laughs> and you know, the main reason why I sold the book is because it, it gave yes. me so much joy. Yes. Parang I want to share that moment with others that right. this is my mom's uh, love for us. And of course, aside from that, because of the COVID, I want to to you know to give my other chefs get their jobs, jobs back absolutely and ito na ang pagkakataon naman natin dito sa Sulain Kitchen Moments na matutunan kung paano gawin tong very famous Voco Fine Chef Sal. Let's go to the kitchen! Alright, we're now here in the kitchen with Chef Sal at ito na yung comfort food that best represents what he's feeling right now. Tell me about this special Voco Fine. Well, I consider this as my our comfort food sa Pampanga because every time pag weekends wala kaming class, my mom ito yung pambida niya sa amin. I consider it as our 
uh, parang comfort food talaga. And like a treat, no? Like a weekend treat. Yeah, especially during rainy days. You, know, we, uh, you get stuck at home and then the family was complete there. Yes. She would concoct this book pie. Did she teach it to you when you were young? Uh, I think ma mas na-adapt ko yung mga techniques ng mom ko than the recipe because the time, wala pang Wikipedia, wala pang Google. Wala! Ano. So wala siyang definite recipe. And oh. of course, my take on book pie is entirely different from my mom. Uh -huh. Not entirely, but I level up ko lang talaga siya. Yeah. So, dahil nga I was trained in France, so sabi ko, hmm, interesting. This is a collab, a dish that is a collab between my, me and my mom. I love the idea. I love yeah, the diba? thought. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what are the ingredients that we need for this recipe? Dalawa ang recipe. One is the pastry, which is um. the dough. And you have, of course, the butter, the sugar, the salt, the egg, some flour, and some water. Uh -huh. Right. If you mix it together, you will end up this dough. Oh. Basically, very soft because of the butter. Dapat yung butter mo maganda so it becomes flaky when it's done. If you want to make it rich and flaky, then you have to use a, a very good butter, of course. Basa yun yung tip ni Chef Yes, sa inyo. and of course, the others, while they make their buko, they get the buko juice, they, they thicken it with cornstarch. Uh, the French style, we do custard. Oh. So it will become more tasty, it becomes more richer, richer version. version uh -huh, uh -huh. But then it's not naman parang ang tigas tigas niya. Meron pa rin siyang ano, malambot siya ang texture. All right? okay. To start off, of course, you have to add all the the dry ingredients. Dry first. That's a, that's a basic uh, baking rule. So yes, no? yes. Pag mo ano yung... to? Uh, this is a powder Powdered milk. milk. Powdered milk. That will give you much flavor. Yes. I branded it as Vuko Fie. Yeah. Why nga ba? Akala nila, they heard wrong. Well, because kapampangan, they make P as F and V as B. Yung H, tinatanggalin na ng H. So that's how, how it went to from to Vuko Fie, Fie to Vuko, Vuko Fie. Fie. Now, pwede mo nang ihalo lahat yung... Yung wet. Yung wet, pwede mo pagalulan sa sa container. Oh. Para okay. ito yung general rule. So, you put the egg, the egg. then the vanilla extract. Uh -uh. And then, okay, the sugar, the salt is here, okay? Did you ever help your mom before to, to make the pie? Yes. Pie? My mom, magaling siyang baker, ha? She did cassava, uh -uh. mga kalamay, kakanin, mga egg pie. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Yan. You're such a fan of your mom! I'm the, I think all of us are fans of our mothers, Yeah, I'm the number usually. one fan of oh, my mom. Oh, you are the number one yeah. fan. Yeah, and then just mix everything. Were you the only one who ano, got into culinary? Yes, but everyone... Except sister, the youngest, I remember. Yeah, nako, if she's watching, she will kill me. <laughs> <laughs> so, ito na yung, yung custard. Yung cus ah, okay. We've got the dough. This is the custard. So, marami rin pala siyang parang stages din talaga, or parts. Na pag, pag sasama -sama so, alam mo na ngayon, medyo pricey siya because in the book fight itself, yeah. meron siyang walong buko. Tsaka ah. dapat ano siya, yung flesh niya hindi matigas, hindi sobrang lambot. Okay, so ito na yun, right? So, gagawin natin, kukuha tayo ngayon ng mold, right? Nag-grease ko na yan. Uh -huh. Tapos tatabi mo yan. And then, let's start with the rolling of dough. Uh -huh. uh, na tapos natin, na na-rest mo na siya. Uh -huh. so, that means the gluten are working already. They're so relaxed na siya. So, Ay, we need to... Hindi pa siya relaxed. So, madali lang siya because hindi siya ganun katigas dahil maganda yung ano, butter-based butter. talaga siya. So, madali siyang ano, i-manage. Uh -huh. Alright. At saka, chef, pag ganyan, dapat hindi mainit yung kusina. Tama ba? Kasi pag yes. ganyan pa ba yung butter pag nandyan na siya sa yeah, ano? Kaya, kaya I use marble topping ah. or stainless para malamig. Ah. So, hindi basta-basa siya. No? Ito na yung dough mo. So, isi-shoot ko na ngayon sa... Doon sa rolling pin. Oh! Ah, ganun pala siya. Yes. Para madali siya. Kalatang hindi ako nagbibake din siya. Okay. 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 Tapos, ipapasok lang natin siya. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Diba? Oh, it looks so beautiful. Para siyang clay na hindi ko maintindihan, na, na diba? hindi nabubutas. Tsaka dapat na... very ano yung kamay mo, medyo mga pilante. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay? So, oh, so pretty. we'll get the custard. Of course, yes. I would put some custard on the base para yung iyan ko lang, yung marble ko lang parang i-level yung Oh, Pagkat mo, may custard, may buko. Uh -huh. So I wash my hand, I make the dough ready. Uh -huh. So just layer, layer down all the, the buko. So, ah, tapos meron na naman siyang 
ka, hindi oo oh, oh, nga, para bawat ano mo, yeah. iwa mo ganun. Yes, para yung bawat bite mo, equal yung ano. Right, yung, yung distribution ng kanyang custard at saka yung, wow! Di ba, ang daming buko nito. Lagyan na natin yung ah. dough sa taas. It's a lot of work, mm -mm. but then, could be uh, therapeutic din, right. di ba? And that's about it. Then, you put it on put top. It on top. Um, seal it the way okay. they, they want it, uh -oh. and I would braid it, right? Oh, like an empanada. Like, yung like empanada. empanada. Yeah, they call it French braid oh. also. Now, that's therapeutic, I can imagine. Yeah, it's also, it takes a lot of skills mm -hmm. to do that. Mm -hmm. I Baka would put ito. some holes. Oh, oh. Parang steam, hindi siya uh -huh. matrap. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Then, lalagyan mo lang ganyan. Para makintab siya. Para maganda yung finish niya. Yes. Yan. Pati yung dough. Beauty, para golden beauty, brown. Beauty. Done. Okay? At um, 165 degrees centigrade for an hour. Oh, and it looks so perfect! I know, look. Pero syempre, as usual, bitin ng konti. Hindi pa siya pwedeng tikman. Dahil, I wanted to ask you about this prized possession that you had when you were a kid, maybe, or something that gives you comfort. Kasi yes. bilang comfort food yung topic natin. Yes, of course, in fact, nagdala ko ng photo. Oh. This is where it all started. This is our coffee floor in Angeles. Oh. And iniluluto namin dito lahat ng mga recipes ng mom ko. And this is one of them. Oh. And this was din, dito na invento si Bukufay during yes. lockdown. Yeah. It's a lovely photo. How long have you had the restaurant? Like, when did you open Cafe Well, Floyd? we started like five or six years ago. Oh, 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 oh. And this house was built in 1898. Oh, wow. Ganun siya katanda and ng, it still ano. stands. Ay, ang dami namang memories. Eh, kaya naman pala brings comfort, parang coming home. And now you have the cafe exactly. here in Exactly. Ang dami ng memories ang nangyari Ay, dyan. Ay, siya. Kaganda-ganda naman. Paano ba ito chef sinaserve? Okay, this one is uh, medyo pinalamig ko na ng konti uh -huh. because you need to rest it for a few minutes. So, ayan na. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Right? Okay, so you cut it. Yeah, and then dinala ko to sa Manila, no? Because uh, I want to share this with everyone. Oh my. Yun. See the buko? Yes, and the custard. And the custard. I can see it. Yeah. The moment I've been waiting for. <laughs> Ang pagtikim ng buko, Fai. Mayroon siyang custard, custard. so medyo madulas siya. Dudulas. Yeah. So I think I have a little bit of the custard and the buko and a bit of the crust. Yeah, that's how you do, you do it. Oh my God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, di matamis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, the, and the texture is just right. The buke is so fresh. You can really taste na ano, dun palang yung ingredients palang niya. Yeah. Na ayos na siya to begin with. That is the main ingredient and important the buke quality. Mm -hmm. Hindi siya pwede mm -hmm. ref. Kailan mm -hmm. out of form manu na siya. Kailan tuli tuli siya ng luto. Kasi nagliti, madali siya mag deteriorate. Right, right, right. Chef, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. My Sissi. absolute favorite. And of course, if you guys want to try this recipe at home, you can take a screenshot of the recipe page. We're going to show it right now. So good luck sa inyong version ng inyong Vuko Fai. And we want to thank you, Chef, for sharing this comfort food recipe with all of My us. My pleasure, to see anytime. Oh, I love working with you, Chef. Chef, yung mga fans mo na kung hindi pa nagpa-follow pa, I doubt, sa iyong social media pages, where can they follow you? IG, si Fresh, Chef Sao Del Rosario, Facebook. And of course, we just opened Cafe Floor in Poblacion, Makati. If you want to try this Vuko among others, yes. you may do so. Please come over. It's in 58. 93 Poblacion. When you come here to Cafe Floor, uh, when you try the food, it's like sharing my memories of my childhood. Oh, Chef, good memories. Thank you so much for having us. It's been a pleasure having you, you on Sulain Kitchen Moments, kung saan mas sumasara pang usapan with every dish na pinagsasaluan. So please follow Sulain on Facebook and also subscribe to our YouTube channel and catch more of our episodes soon. See you soon. Bye!